Facebooks give multiple features that that give the access to maintain the state, capture the uh, lifecycle methods, and uh, doing some reference. So everything it uh, it help us to um, replicate whatever we have in the class component. So uh, there are some rules uh, to write a hook. So hooks are available only for functional component. We can't able to use class component. That's the one. And it's always top level component, which means uh, uh, you need to use hooks in your parent. Like uh, we have a we have parent and child component. At that time, uh, if you if you wish to use hooks, then you need to implement hooks in your parent component, not in your child component. If you use uh, hooks in your child component, at that time there is no meaning uh, to use child components. When when talking about parent and child relationship, so the data always uh, derived from parent, and the child should return the event callbacks to the parent. So uh, children doesn't know anything about the functionalities and the state or anything any kind of things. Uh, parents knows everything. So that's the actual reason a uh, hooks uh, always needs to write in the parent component. And uh, hooks cannot be conditionable. For example, uh, if if uh, if some uh, if it is true, then you can use use of a hook. If it is false, then you can use use state hook like that. You can do. So hooks are uh, hooks is not a normal function or normal variable or normal hostable. So that is a feature. So we can't. Uh, uh, that's a feature, kind of a package. So we can't render the package with a, with a, uh, with conditional based, kind of like a HTML, right? So that's the third rule. We can't use conditional. Uh, uh, we can't use conditionally render the particular hooks. So these are the types of hooks. So uh, as we know, use state and use effect. We already seen. Today we will see more about that. And use context. That's a big thing. Um, I will show you how to use context. Uh, for your application, like uh, uh, when you when you went some of the application for uh, dark mode and light mode, or if you want to maintain uh, the login session, logout session, so kind of that uh, you can use use context. Uh, use context, uh, which means it have the context of the entire application. It doesn't. It's not a part of a project. It is the uh, it is a project. Uh, we can access anywhere across the application, but we need to define some someone play someone place, and we need to. Uh, we need to send to the parent, but you can access across the application. Uh, when when we compare with use state, use state is uh, use state is available only within the component. We can't uh, we can't get the data from other component. Use of it is not uh, use of it doesn't help us to store anything, but that that is help us to maintain the lifecycle method. So we can't compare use of it with context. So we can compare use state and use context. Uh, use state is uh, within the component. Use context within. That, that is the global state um, across the application we can do, but we can. That what are the data we are storing in the use context? That right? that is not persist in the window. So if the user cl click refresh button at that time, uh, definitely the context value will be uh, deleted. So there is a problem with use context. I will tell you how to maintain uh, those kind of uh, scenario. Um, what we need to do uh, to persist the particular data. And in other kind, we have the additional hooks called the use memo. And uh, use ref and uh, use reducer and uh, etc. Multiple hooks there, like use callback there. So multiple things there. So these are the mostly used and recommended hooks for the development. So I will cover these things and I will give uh, some of the hooks for your uh, self-learning purpose.